So what's up guys? We're gonna teach you how to build your Wing Gundam Zero here. So I don't have a much, but I would definitely prefer more beam range when it comes to making Wing Gundam. Not really high on the range part, but we'll use what we got with the percentages and still think I still think we'll still do a good amount of damage at the end of the day. So obviously there's always two ways to build your sharpshooter, especially when it comes to wing in general. There's also sub weapon parts up um, that you can definitely use for your character. I mean, that's also going to benefit, but you won't get any benefit out of your SPA. Your SPA damage won't actually go up. So if you see like sub weapon attack up, that's going to boost more of that stuff. So if you wanted to affect all your sub kit, uh, you definitely just work on your sub weapons. Um, definitely find something in the higher range of the sub weapons. Like sub weapon two goes up, sub weapon one goes up by this amount, like stuff like that. You want to like look for those types of items at the end of the day. Um, prime example like this one says sub weapon up thirty percent. That's a lot. So something like that, but you want it on like an attack part so your character can actually do some really, really nasty damage. Um, definitely. Because if this if this one actually had a freaking attack, I mean I use it a little bit more because then. There's actual stuffing to it. So yeah, you don't really minus too much from your um, actual attack pattern. You want to add as much as you can, especially when it comes to beam. Like, if I had a sub-weapon, I guess more of a sub-weapon kit in my range slot here, I would be like, yeah, you know, I can definitely, definitely do that. But we don't really have that. But we're going to show you what we have so far for you, so... Let's show you wing, but in this video, we're actually going to do a little bit of a what if scenario. And a what if scenario is very interesting when I, and I mean that literally, a what if scenario. So we'll tell you that scenario after we're done showing you uh, pretty much this um, in action, his little beam attacks going off, how much damage we're putting out. And then we're going to do a little change up in this. So this video might be a little bit longer. So if you stick to it. You'll learn a lot, so let's get started. So we're doing 836 per shot, which is beautiful. I like it. Obviously, if that fully hits, I'm pretty sure that's going to be doing a lot of damage. I hate when he does that stupid grab. Counter. I did 3700, so you can definitely prop a little bit of that with a little bit of a combo sequence there. You want to reload? But honestly, 836 is still a lot, so we take those. So we are getting like a good, ooh, ooh, ouchies. We are getting some good, um, believe it or not, this is actually pretty solid damage if you're hitting 800 per main range shot too. So that extra 25% does help. It's a 70% to your 1400, which isn't so bad. We're gonna do a little combo, kind of pop them up and then do some shots in the back and boom. We got some, we had some extra damage with that back shot. Yeah, we can know. Alright, so let's get this. Ow. So let's get this shot in. Dot in. Dot in. Dot in. He will not break for some reason. So now this beam will do a lot since we do have the beam range up. There you go. That's, that's some damage right there, boys. I don't know why he's chasing me. I never even hit him. And then shot. Reload. Our exception is always try to find a way to pop him up a little bit. Once he just gets that random, like, recovery. Damn, explosions. 
explosions. Guess that did enough to actually kill. So if you can do a pop on most of it, you'll get some really good back damage in there. Like I said, I always prefer I prefer beam over everything over sub weapons sometimes. Definitely, especially for this character. Since like all of the attacks are very beam heavy, so you can really really try to maximize the damage. So if I shoot him in the air, 31. If I shoot him in the back, 27. That's pretty good for backstabbing. Let's get another shot in. I kind of like the stage because it definitely just shows like more of the damage cut rates on these guys. Pop up, get a couple shots in, and then do a twirl. This should do enough damage, I think. Oh, it does 8,000. Just got shooting in the back for the extra couple thou. So double, double beam blast right there, big beam right feet. So we're getting some of that good damage in. Trying to break him. Bam. One, two. And pop up. One, two. One. So once you get that shot in the back, you really capitalize the damage. So doing it in the air with a combo with a backstab, you can really capitalize that beam damage on these mobile suits. Oh, that was bull crap. Anyways, hey, I, I, that was on me. Honestly, I, I should have saw those funnels coming. And dead. Like I said, if you hit the if you hit him in the back, you can get some really good back damage in there. A thousand's like great, especially depending on how many shots you have. That means you can technically capitalize sixteen six thousand damage really. But yeah, on my quest in this game so far I am looking for more of like the beam made beam range of things for my characters. Especially when it comes to wing, so he hits more like over ten K with his special. And his move set will still like kind of hit like a truck. So that's pretty much the goal we're looking for. Up, oh, he dead. Yeah, that was two back damage hits, so that's good. Oh, explosions, explosions, explosions. Explosions. Pop. Pop. Reload. So that's the beauty of roll action, period. It just helps you with your sub kit go off more because you know how much damage you're doing in your sub kit. So it gives you more of a damage output. So we're not going to conclude this video. We actually have one more part of this that I do want to show you because I do see some potential with um, Wings uh, kit with a different build. So I want to show that as well in this video. Let's see if we found anything good. <sighs> no. Oh, I really wish this was like B melee up. No, nope, those aren't even the proper ones. I'm gonna find those weapons one day and then my characters will be set. No, all main, they just, the stagger doesn't add damage sadly, so no to that. B melee, not B melee, everything else, so that's big sad face. 
Minus? Who takes a minus? All right. So the other bill I want to show you, and I kind of had it planned out in my head when I actually played Wing. Uh, give me one sec. I'm going to show you. It's going to be interesting. You might you, Obviously, you're going to think it's crazy, but... So I'm probably going to do something like this. Give me one sec. Um... I have all the necessary pieces with the right amount of power. Power, I mean melee. 297. One sec. You know what? This extra 7% of back damage is going to do wonders. And for range, um, I want something in the thousands, but I also want to affect my beam melee attack so you can see that beam melee stuff that's the stuff i'm kind of going for do i not have like a beam no see that's the hard part that's what i'm slacking on when it comes to that stuff um but i'll use the higher range so we should do some more he is a very heavy beam range but i'm trying to show you a little bit more like what if i did this pretty much back down gets added with that with some backstabber so we're good there so let me show you what it's like to play Wing Gundam as a fighter. Like, what if we're like, all right, let's not even bother with the sub weapons. Let's let's uh, let's change it up to being a berserker. Let's see how that goes. You know what I'm saying? Because his weapons do break the opponent, and you do have chances. So have lucky shots. So you always have shots ready. Just saying. Let's, uh, give that a, one last testing. Counter. Nice. Oh no. Two, three. One, two, one. Ah, oh, he didn't throw. Yeah, it was gonna be a solid. Oh, counter. And he shot me from my freak. I hate that. I really hate that I just got interrupted for that combo. So we can see that there's some solid melee back damage there. That's because I added some extra back damage. So I'm covering... I'm actually covering my percent sign when it comes to beam range up and stuff like that. When I do that, that means I'm going to compensate what I'm missing on the melee department. So now I'm hitting like a thousand per hitbox. Which, again, I still wish I had the other thing. Because obviously it would be more on my melee, stuff like that. See, that move does, will do more, because the whole point of that move is to be like a combo or a, a breaker on the opponent's meter there. So, yeah. I was trying to look for that opening there. So we give him a little break there. Two. And pop up. One, two, three. One, two. And just do your average combo we've been showing you in these videos. Oh no. I was still up in the air. And we'll consider this a zero, almost a zero to death because I was shooting him before, so. But depending on, like, your setup or your matches that you're in, Depending on stages. Two, three. One, two, one. I did not have time to do that. Th that wall is a very tricky wall. Not a lot to open with. One, two, three. One, two, one. Try again the back. Like I said, always attempt the back damage. That's where all your damage is really going to pan out and kill your opponent in like two seconds. Let's get that. Let's rock and roll for the next one. Oh, 
Pop him up. In three, two, one. We caught him. Pop up. And then cancel again. Combo him one more time. And that is a beautiful wing zero combo on the video. So like I said, if I can turn this character into a melee fighter, I feel pretty good about it. So your opponents can reset you to keep doing three hits. That is possible. So after that attack, we're going to go for this attack since he's still in the back. And that was pointless. Did not twist again. So yeah, this is what I wanted to attempt to build because I did see something in Wing's moves, move set that I'm like, you know what? This can work. Obviously, mobile armor is always just focus on your range sub weapon kit. This is mostly for just mobile suits at the end of the day. I mean, also, this is just me just being fancy as well when it comes to damage output. No. Come on. What you got? Just waiting to, like, counter him right now. Oh, my God. Counter thing legit really knows how to screw me over. Pop up. One, two, three. One, two, one. Oh, you can actually do a cancel. Actually, you can probably cancel that into another chain break combo. Which is actually, again, pretty solid stuff. Um, I have to do that. I was kind of low on boost meter there. Pop up. Finish. No. Like I said, I'm not expecting that much out of that unless I'm getting some more beam melee in and I still don't have those types of items yet. But we still did pretty good when it came to the sub weapon kit and we're doing pretty good showing the melee build. Where you're probably like, what the fudge, there's an actual melee build? I'm like, yeah, there kind of is. I mean, I didn't want to believe it either, but it's there. Solid back damage to finish it off. Let me break him, because right now I'm on, like, a zero death right now. Come on. Okay, that blow-up didn't kill me, thank God. No! Oh my god! Ah, that slow motion just... Just, like, honestly, like, screwed up, like, everything. I'm so upset. I had it. I had it. If, it. if the game didn't slow down, oh my god, that would have been a nice combo to end everything. Bam, ba bam. And we just use the combo breaker, break the rest of his meter. And we'll shoot him in the back. Get that extra five, hundo. So that's pretty much how you can kind of build Wing Zero. You can go a couple ways. Obviously, when it comes to mobile armors or you just don't want to fight, you can just make that range build we did. Or if you're a fighter like me, you'll make the melee build. Eh, you know.
I surprised they had all the good parts for melee. So let's see if we got anything good here. Did I finally get that B melee I always wanted? Let's see. Not bad. A 280 range and extra B melee. That's good for some of those fighters. It's always so tricky. Beam range up. All around. That face. Tell them for more. Our balance. Oh, I found one, but again, B melee 173. I need that to be a little bit higher, sir. A little bit higher. Physical melee. Again, my physical melee characters are going to do just great. Just great in the sharpshooting department. No. No to that. Ah, oh, so tricky getting that right piece, man. I'm telling you. Anyways, guys, that's all we have. Thanks for watching. I'll be good. I'm glad I kind of made this video. Kind of gives you more insight. Y'all be good. I'll see you around. Be good, homies.